the, the meat. Meat. The the meat of the old podcast here. Like um, would you would is... you say would you say like a Delmonico or like a T van? <laughs> so we're on to the meat of the podcast here. <laughs> um, <laughs> Thank you. Delmon Delmonico is the better oh. cut. We're talking about some cuts of steak. You are free to go go on there. <laughs> I um, mean I'm out of here. <laughs> All right. So That's a uh, digital estateist. Yeah, digital estateist. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Paris games, we just what happened. <laughs> and Sony came out and had a little conference and things. So even though we have our videos up on YouTube, please everybody go watch them with some impressions. And except for Bob's, I haven't got that up yet because he got it to me late. Um, yeah, yeah. I worked hard. I worked hard. I worked hard. <laughs> You did. I listened, I listened to the whole thing. You worked hard. Work hard. <laughs> no, um, just, 30, 30, 32 minutes of audio, only three minutes of it is what we're using. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> Most of it was him cussing at himself. Yeah, no, I was pissed. I was fucking pissed, man. Uh, it, was, it was so stressful. Juan, did you listen to it? Did you listen to, listen to it, Juan? No, I haven't heard it yet. Oh, it's in the Dropbox, like the, like the whole un unedited version of it. It's, <laughs> yeah, a, it's, it. it's hilarious. Classic, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I think I even said you might you might want to just put this whole thing up because it's gonna be hilarious. <laughs> I think I even said that. I think I even said <laughs> oh, that. No, point that it. You did say that. Oh no. Mm -hmm. I want to go through and cut out all the parts where you fuck up and like curse yourself and like get angry and put them all together. And we're gonna go back to back. Yeah. Look out for that on YouTube. Hey, I hope you guys can um, see this. So. I hope you guys can see this. Hold on, hold on. I'm bringing a friend to the party. <laughs> Is it a happy friend? Make yeah. it a happy, no, no, happy little little friend. Not really. Not really a happy friend, no. Nope, nope. He's not happy at all. So you, think, you think I'm fucking around? I'm actually going to do that. Um, do it, whatever. Man. I don't give a shit. <laughs> So, can we talk about Paris Games Week, please? Yes. Uh, All right. Yeah. Let's do it. So, Sony had their conference. Um, they came out um, and showed a handful of things. Um, some things I was excited for, some things I wasn't. Um, so, in the end, I thought it was a solid show. It, was, um, it wasn't blowing me away by no means, but there were a few things that stood out. Um, only we need to go down in the list, you know, chronologically, you know, how, how it came out. We can just kind of throw things out as we want, you know, and what caught our eye there. Um, or we can go off our videos if we like. Uh, um, if you want to s start with um, Juan, you uh, did a Horizon video. If you want to start with Horizon Talk, we can get into yeah, that. Right. Right. Yeah. We're going to start with Horizon. So, uh, not, not to retread over some of the things that I said over on my impressions video, but, but you will. it was awesome, man. It was, I mean... It was the same vertical slice that we saw at E3 done in a different way. I liked it. Was it? I didn't realize yeah, I that. that. I thought it, it, was, it was. It was. That, that was what they showed behind closed doors. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah the, the stuff we hadn't seen um, with setting the traps for those um, whatever mechanical dinosaurs. You know, I thought that was really cool. They're, they're called grazers. Grazers. That makes mm -hmm. sense. Probably um, the little ones. Yeah. Yeah, and so I thought that was really cool. Um, I mean, the one thing about it is catching me it's every every time is the game looks really good, yes. and I don't know why I'm so surprised. I mean, it's being made by a Gorilla. I mean, also, you know, Killzone is like a, a beautiful game, um, but it's, yeah, the game is looking really good. I think I, I'm I'm just, like I said, I think I said it before. I'm glad to see they're you know stretching their wings a little bit here and making a game that's not a first person shooter. Yeah, I think they have. I think they have a talent to really, you know, bring something fresh and, and new um, yeah, to the market, especially yeah, with all yeah. the games that are out there that are open world um, RPGs. Yeah, I, th I think that's what's so exciting about it because like, we've seen this studio work for years, and we know like they're they're good at what they do, and as a first person shooters, and that's why I think this is so exciting because they're they're doing something else, and I want to see, and I'm sure I'm pretty sure that they're going to succeed on their efforts, being just because they're known as the kill zone people, you know. Right. First, first person shooters, yeah. but but this could be a company that can do whatever that whatever the hell they want. You know, and they're dealing with the open world action RPG thing, and it looks awesome. Yeah, <laughs> I can't wait, man. 
Hey Juan, um, I wanted to ask you about it real quick. Do you think they left any room for multiplayer? Do you think there'll be a multiplayer? No, no, no. Um, There's no, no multiplayer. <laughs> I mean, I don't think that they'll put multiplayer, but if they do, I could imagine it probably being like Far Cry's multiplayer. Yeah, where like separate see, stuff that you do. See, I, I, I think, I think, I think they. I think they probably said no multiplayer, right? No, I, I, I'm trying to think here. I was, I was gonna say, I think in E3 they said. They're going to have multiplayer elements, but I'm thinking that's more, maybe more like scoreboard type stuff or something. Maybe like, 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 jump in, jump no, out. Co-op. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. But I, I think maybe more like okay, like you got this. You got this one part of the game. Oh, your friend beat it. It's going to show you like in this amount of time, or they killed this many people in this mission, or. Or the dinosaurs, or the speed dinosaurs boards or leaderboards and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I could be wrong, but I, I'm pretty sure I remember them saying they're going to be little, little, like online elements to it, not multiplayer per se. Online elements. Okay. Online elements. Okay. I could be wrong. Though. Yeah, Bob. I know you're just taking, you know, an opinion there, a statement, dark on there, but I feel like you know that. The, I don't think online leaderboards. I don't think it fits the the style of game. To be honest with you, I don't think I don't think this is that game to have any kind of online online leaderboards. I think if if there were any multiplayer elements, um, I don't want to say it's in the style of like Destiny, where you know other people are in your world. No, I don't think so. I don't um, think I, I think this game is gonna be maybe, strictly. What 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 um uh, doesn't? Let's see. Is it um Demon Souls, Brian? That had where you you could see players that had come through in the past. Yeah, Bloodborne yeah. like that too. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. kind of like blood, it's asynchronous. Where like you're kind of in the same spot, but you're not really in the same spot. All right. Yeah. I can I can maybe see that, but for but I I really think we won't see anything drastic when it comes to any kind of multiplayer um, options with the game. I think it's gonna be a, a, a basically more or less a complete single player experience. Oh, yeah, I I agree one hundred percent. Hopefully. I'm, I just looked it up. Um, Zebra Dawn won't have multiplayer. Um, I'm searching online elements or something. Single player focus. Blah, blah. Uh, yeah, single player, no multiplayer. Single player, which, I mean, that's good to me. Just a big open world RPG. But like I'm, sure. I could have swore I heard somewhere. Like I said, I was probably wrong. But I could have swore I heard somewhere like online features of some sort. Hmm. But no multiplayer, which is good. You know what I did like about it? Um, from what they shown and they kind of um took time to really explain it. Show it was the very um minimal HUD. Yeah. Like you like they're showing you a lot of the screen. Like there's not a lot not a lot um crowding the screen up. Yeah, you know I appreciate. Yeah, appreciate that. Really immersive. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, um, I think I'll, I'll, I'm stoked for that game. And I'm assuming, you know, I think I think a lot of people prefer a, a very limited hood in the first place because mm-hmm. it kind of you know helps you get into the game. And, but also a, a company of their ilk, you know, they're known for making beautiful games, and so they they also want to show off the world. So there's no need, you know, piling up, you know, something in every corner of the screen. Yeah, I'd, uh, I think I think especially recently, like the minimalistic hub, you're seeing that more and more. Like the, um, like the heads up display. See, I yeah. like when games allow you to customize it. So uh, the example I got is Drive Club. Um, I mean, the the HUD is really crowded in Drive Club. But I mean, you you can choose to take it off completely, which is how I drive. So I don't even know where the hell I'm going. I don't see a map. I just drive. Yeah, speaking of map, that that was one thing that I liked about it. It's like most open world RPGs put a small map, you know, um, whatever, whatever the bottom corner, wherever they might it might be. Right, like they're not doing that. They're putting um, a compass up top, Hold no up. map on the screen. Obviously, I'm, I'm assuming if you want to see a map, you have to go into a menu. But either way, um, it's not on the screen. It's not crowded up. You know, you don't, you don't have a square map down there, and you see a little line going where the fuck you're going. You know, you just have a compass up top. That's that's um, but it's not like a hard compass. You know, you c- it's you can see through it. It's transparent. Uh, the, the, so it's, the, it's not really sticking out to you, but it's still there in case you need it. Yeah, it's Fallout and Elder Scroll style. But yeah. just, uh, but it, right, right, yeah, right. I haven't seen it. So, so it's at the bottom of the screen. Is it like just like that, or is it like something in the corner? I haven't seen the compass. So, so the, it's at the bottom. It's at the top middle. Uh, yeah, so, so, yeah, yeah. Like piece. that's that's honestly like one of the best, like the uh, Fallout and Skyrim uh, style compass, where you, like you see like you like a red line. Okay. Yeah, very unobtrusive. I like it. Yeah. yeah. All right. 
It's cool. Mm-hmm. I, 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 think, uh, I, think, I think that's going to be playable at PSX. That little demo slice. We're waiting on you for hands-on impressions. Hey, Go get it, if it's there. You'll have to tell it. You'll have to tell it. Get on no, it. I will. I'll tell you and I'll laugh in your face. That's why I tell you. <laughs> okay. Um, so, let's see. Mine was the second video went up, so I'll go ahead and talk about a little bit of Battleborn. Um, uh, this game was not on my radar, and I think I might have said this in the video. It was not on my radar. You um, said, said that exactly. Here recently. <laughs> okay. Um, and right now, I feel, I, I see I'm trying to get my thoughts together because I'm in the beta and I know I can't say anything bad from the beta because I, it's, a, it's a closed beta so it's a, I have an NDA and I can't really say anything. Um, so I'm trying to keep it to what I can say. <laughs> um, anyway, what I liked about it, was, and this, I always thought of Brian when I thought about this because Brian hasn't played first one shooters in That's forever. Sweet. Like Battlefront here. That's sweet. Battle, Battlefront here recently has been the first person, first person shooter he's played in years. Um, especially multiplayer. He doesn't play multiplayer first person shooters. Um, we used to play him. Like, last one he's played with me was like probably Resistance. So think about that. Yeah, probably so. Um, so I thought about that because the game is set up to where it's a very supportive played game, and he's a very su- uh, a very support type player. He's not he's not he's not a slayer. He doesn't go in and get you know thirty kills a game. He might get three kills okay. a game, but he's gonna be at the top leaderboard because he's out there throwing um, health packs and you know, this. And he always he always plays a medic. He's always a medic. He's always a supportive player. The sunflower um, and garden warfare man represent. That's right. That's what I was. Represent that was yeah, it. He, he played all the time. And so, like I always thought of him because I thought. Like gosh, you know that could be a game that he could play, and like and, 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 and like a lot of people play. A lot of people who don't really get in the first round shooters, like you know some of the you know hecticness of first round shooters, you know it's kind of taken down. You know, you know what? I'll just lay in the back here and I'll help my teammates this way or whatever. Um, and I like there's 25 different characters. Um, some are of the of the attacking nature, some of the supportive nature. Um, but you, there's something there for anybody, I think, and you can just kind of hop on and have a good time. And there's a lot of different different weapons and power ups and one of the things on there that also I found I like was um, that when once you level up, like it's set up like a like a MOBA. So each round you're, you're leveling up from one to ten. So and then it starts over for, at the next round. So you know once you level up, you can upgrade. You know mid round, you don't have to wait until the rounds over. You know whatever. So you can, you can pick whatever upgrade you want. You know you, you pick between two. But um, that's pretty so, cool. Like I said, I've been in the beta. Um, it's been fun. Um, I haven't had a chance to get into the multiplayer part yet because I don't know if there's not anybody online, but I've basically sat in menus for like 30 minutes straight just seeing if it, like it put my team together, but it won't put you know enemies together. Um, so I'm like, okay, fuck that. So I just played the single player content, and that's the other issue I have with it now is. Um, I mean, you can't say nothing about it. No, no, no. I, I said this in the video, but this is just common knowledge. Um, I worry that single player content is going to be similar to what Destiny, the vanilla Destiny, mm-hmm. um, which was not fun. You know what I'm saying? It's just like it, yeah. it's not. It doesn't have any kind of story arc. You just you get thrown in an area, you just go through it, and you, you know you can just keep playing it over and over again. Very bare very bones. Destiny esque. Yeah, very bare bones. Um, even though I think this game is probably going to be focused more towards um, multiplayer. Um, I think if you put when's it coming out? If you put, when's it coming out? February, I believe. Mm-hmm. If you put in single player content, I believe you should, you know, at least make an effort on it. Um, if 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 you want it to be a, just a multiplayer game, to just be a multiplayer game. Um, well, I feel like they don't want to go the route of uh, evolve and Titanfall. You know? Right. Um, but yeah, it's got some Gearbox. If anybody didn't know, Battleborn Gearbox. Um, and um, Borderlands. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so it, it was kind of, you know, that was kind of I was I wasn't worried going into the beta. I'll keep my opinions to myself until the open beta starts. But um, you know, but yeah. you know, they made you know they had a story arc in Borderlands. It was an RPG. You know, it wasn't a very wasn't like a great fleshed out. It was more loot based. You know, kind of run around. You know, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you want that loot, man? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, and this this game isn't as loot based. Um, it, it really reminds me of Destiny. I'll be honest with you. I don't know what you guys think of anything you, you know about it. I don't know because, like I said, it was on wasn't even on my radar until. Recently, so I don't know if you guys know anything about it or have any opinions on it. 
No, no, I, do, I have. Go ahead. No, let me go. Let me go. Never mind. Um, I have a couple questions about the about the beta. I know you can't say much, but mainly what I want to know is um, is you you haven't been able to get into multiplayer. Is that what you're saying, right? No, just 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 play the single play. Have you did you play Destiny? Yeah. You did. Yes. Okay. So the um, single player, there's two different single player portions. They call you know one the single player portion that you're able to play is the is the co-op, and then there's the actual single player. So the only thing we're able to get into right now is the co-op, which is basically you know a one to five team squad just running through this um. Is this there mission. matchmaking or is it just randoms? Um, just randoms. But you can well you can bring a team with you, but uh, you always get you, you always get tossed in. I haven't I don't right, have anybody, right. I'm not I'm just, I'm the only one you know playing the the beta on my friends list. So <laughs> yeah. um, I'm not and the, the, actually they say that if if you want to be able to a higher chance of getting in multiplayer matches is like you know come in with with a squad already and like but I can't you know because I don't have anybody. Um, right. But go ahead, Bob. Finish with your question. I'm well, no, kind of like, there. I was gonna ask like. More about the multiplayer, but you haven't played it. I was, but I was gonna ask like, like a yes or no questions. Yes, like, yes, no questions. like, is it fun? Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, for the multiplayer, it's like, do, do you have issues? But I mean, since you haven't played the multiplayer, you can't answer the second question. Right. But I, but I guess you can answer it if it's fun. Uh, it's fun. Cool. It's fun. Well, but but I mean, there's butts to, to that fun, which I mean, I'll be happy to get into it when once the open beta starts. And when, I guess once they when is that? First off, PlayStation Four. I remember talking about it, but I forgot to. Yeah, it's gonna be first to play. That's, that's, that's one of the things they said at the conference is gonna be first on PS4. Um, I forgot to look up when, when the open beta starts, but it is fun. I have butts that come along with that fun, but so I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I was excited for it, and not so much now. It just says 2006, um, 2016, so I'm guessing January. Yeah, it'd have to be if the game it came out in February. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, like, like I'm sure, I'm going to show up. We're going to stream it and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in there and I'm gonna stream it. Um, hopefully Brian again, because I, I told Brian I told him yeah. he could hopefully get in there and you know be his supportive self. <laughs> but I, 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 can, I can say this: I'm not getting this game. Just like I'm not getting uh, yeah. Battlefront. Neither, neither am I. I made I made the call on it. I know it's shocking. Like, even though I was I was like carrying the flag on that game, and uh, it's it's not what I wanted to be. Yeah, I mean, it's it's fun. It's fun. It's, it's just like if it had a dedicated campaign for. Uh, Battlefront, uh, maybe for but for, but for Battlefront specifically, I'd be all in. I'd be getting it, but I'm not even interested in Battleborn, not at all. Yeah. I mean, I'll get into. I'll try right. a beta, the open beta. Oh yeah, beta. oh yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, and uh, one of the things that you, hey, it's free. Just try it out. Man. Yeah, you man. Know, you don't like mm -hmm. it. Uh, you hear that? So, um. Let's move on to Brian's video, and he has a few things in there that he talked about that was in the conference that I think all of us are probably excited about. Um, the, the biggest thing being No Man's Sky, the next biggest thing being Matterfall from Housemark. Um, oh, so, yeah. Brian, I'll let you get in on the old uh, No Man's Sky talk. Well, I mean, really, there's uh, the every, everyone who watched the videos, I mean, they're, it's the same old, same old, and I said that in my in my video. Uh, my impressions video. It's just um, the biggest news. We finally got a release date, uh, June 2016. Uh, yeah, release window. Sorry, June 2016. Um, probably the biggest news to me, and, and like I said, I said this in the uh, my impressions video, was that the, um, the VR never mentioned a single thing about it. PSX. However, however, they said that VR was being planned on being released in the. Uh, Summer in the same time. Yeah. Right. Spring. June is in the summer. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not saying it's not going to be uh, uh, VR compatible. I'm just surprised that during the VR PlayStation conference that they didn't at least show yeah. a clip of no, it. No, no, no. Yeah, that'd have been huge. No, they're saving that for PSX for the okay. people that for the people they want. 
for for PlayStation not for PlayStation for me that they're if if they don't if they don't announce it there then it ain't coming. True. Yeah. Okay, so um, what? Go ahead. Go ahead, no, go ahead, bro. I'm gonna let you finish it up first. Before I'll get on, get in what I had to say. No, I was gonna, I was gonna keep moving. Go ahead. Okay, so No Man's Sky. I think uh, me and Brian might have discussed this um, a few days ago. We keep seeing kind of the most the same thing with the videos. Uh, it's, it's not that I'm not excited about the game and it looks cool and you know it has a cool aesthetic, you know, and the whole idea of it. It's just I'm not sure if I, have, I haven't. I might have blown my load on this game already, and you know, and we've been hearing about it for so long, and it's taking so long to get here. You know, am I going to be into something else? You know, am I am I going to be able to like gather up my excitement once again? Are they going to show me something that's going to make me? And it's sure as hell, and it's not going to be VR because I'm not buying a fucking VR. Right. Um, would I mean? I just hope that they either show some new gameplay, you know, show somebody actually playing the fucking game. Just give give me something to keep me going on the game, um, and that, well, that's, that's, and still still it's not me saying that I, I'm not excited for the game. I think it's a really cool game, really know, cool idea. Um, yeah. I'll, along with that, um, I, I saw somebody write an article about it. They said, you know, they can see this having a huge um, initial buy. You know, a ton of people think it's really cool, and in two weeks, ninety percent of the people won't be playing it. So you're shaking your head, Bob. I am shaking my head because I, like. <laughs> Let me throw something. At you. And, I, and I know Juan has some like because he tried to get in there. Um, something Greg Miller said. He said he could see it as a game that he picked up. He played it for a little bit. And he said he can see, see it as one of those games that he you know would sit down. You know, play with maybe 15 minutes or whatever, and then put it away. You know, kind of one of the you know games you just pl you just play for a short amount of time a day. Then you put it away and you go do something else, or you go play something else. Um, I can see that most definitely with me. Like you know, the initial excitement of the buy, I get it, and I play it for the first week, two weeks, month, whatever. And then it gets to be the one of those things where I'm just playing it. You know, just every once in a while, just seeing what's going on with the world. You know, trying to find something new, and, unless the game is very addicting to the point where you know I feel like the like, gosh I want to go find you know a new area a new a new world Minecraft. name it whatever name, name it fuck Bob or whatever you know mm -hmm. um, and just you know unless that that bug catching me because that that can happen because you know that kind of shit happen with Skyrim you know it's to the point where, you know you, you get you know okay I'm gonna go do this mission in Skyrim and then you see a deer running through the woods and like that that catches your attention oh, let's, let's go shoot this deer with his, with his bone arrow for five fucking minutes um <laughs> And shit like that, you know. So, anyway, Juan, go ahead and get in there, man. I, I think I saw you might have tried to have some, try to get in and say something. So yeah, uh, Bob just whispered it, man. Uh, what I I feel like it's gonna be the Minecraft effect, man. Like the only thing it's missing is creative mode, which I mean that is a huge draw to Minecraft. But just think about it: people going in there, being able to shape this world exactly how they want. And Minecraft has only grown. Like when it started out, it was tiny. There was like a very small group of players that played it, but word of mouth got out. And more and more and more people started playing it. And it's going to be on PS4 and PC. So it's just going to grow organically. I can just see it. And I don't know, man. Like, But at the same time, going along with what you were saying, they are kind of spinning their tires at this point, where we are seeing same old, same old at this point. So I, I can see how the wow factor definitely is going down. But my excitement for the level hasn't gone down just because I know that it's going to be something that I'm just going to keep coming back to. Like, I... I play Minecraft still sometimes, and I've had it since, gosh, early 2014 at this point. So, almost two years of straight Minecraft. Yeah, you, and like, like I've been saying this for a while. That game has Minecraft written all over it. Sure. It has the Minecraft DNA, sure. and it could be one of like, like, like you, you were saying something about Greg Miller saying, oh, something you can play 15, 20 minutes, going every once in a while. Minecraft's like that too. I can turn it on for 15, 20 minutes, but then it can turn it on and play for four hours. Just get lost. You do doing stuff, um, which is fun. And you know what? I, to be honest with you, I hope it has that, that kind of grab, at least but, for me. And, and like but, me, I'm not like I'm not I'm not generally that type of player. Like like multiplayer grabs me for four hours, not single player most of the time. Um, because I, I swear I got ADD, man. Um, <laughs> but so. <laughs> so, I mean, but yeah, you're. I mean, you're exactly right. Go finish. I'm sorry, Bob. I didn't mean to cut you off. Finish but up. But there's a lot of things that that. I think that we don't know about yet, because um, 
Yeah, I he, hope so. I can't. Hello Games. I can't remember like the main guy, Sean. Uh, Sean Murray. Yeah. I remember him. Like IGN did it first about this a while ago, um, where he's talking about like the economy. Like we we don't know how like like the because I guess they made their own periodic timetable. Yeah, they did and stuff. And just right, like right. Ju just like Minecraft when it first came out, no one there wasn't there wasn't like no thing going in. Okay, you need this block of wood that makes this many sticks. You need this stick and this many block blocks of wood to make a um, wooden pickaxe. Like that, all that stuff was it was a mystery. You was learning about it. Then wiki pages start growing and um, all that stuff and like. I believe it was on uh, Colbert where Sean Murray was saying, uh, "Like, you pick a world, and that world is not created till you start going into it." Which is, which is, I think that's, I think that's fucking crazy. That world is not generated until you start flying down to it. Right. And um, when I was thinking about this, like with this computer algorithm they got making all this stuff. I'm wondering, because like, there's supposed to be like what billions and billions of planets or whatever. Yeah. If, 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 if we could technically run into some duplicates, you know, like I I know. Know. no, I mean, no they're, because they're touting it like you would, like you shouldn't. Well, yeah. The reason is, is what they said is that the, they they've generated this random number that's this massive, mm -hmm. you know string of random numbers and then they add static to it and the static is random also mm -hmm. so that's where you get that variation but yeah but that doesn't guarantee that like like well, they said you might go to a world that's all red and then you might go to another world that's all red but but the creatures will be different the terrain will be different the water you'll never come across the exact same planet twice right right that's I agree with, with random stuff it's random so technically you could you know what I mean so, te so, te so technically, like that, that computer algorithm can like put this code together. They go, okay, this, these two planets are similar, but they're not the same. But they might be similar enough to maybe somehow randomly generate, technically, like, the, like say the same fish on these two different worlds. You know what I mean? Well, that I wouldn't care about. If I thought saw the same fish on two different worlds, no, but, but, no, no, but like, like, I, like I was thinking, like. So they like, say I was the first to discover this fish. And this is weird. This is weird. This is what I thought about the other day. Was okay. Say I discovered this 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 fish the first time. Then say like when someone zooms into another planet, I don't know how how far away or whatever, and all the numbers work together, and it it technically creates the same fish. Would the computer recognize that I already discovered that fish? Because they're the same fish. It would have to because yeah, it'd be it would be assigned to that random number. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's the game. I mean, it's gonna whenever you. It would, but it, it's not gonna do it like that because every species is tagged to the planet that you found. That's, it. that's true. No, that was just, that was just something I was thinking about. I, I, I like like the chances of that happening to where like because of all the numbers you were saying, but it, it, I don't know why it popped in my head a few days ago where I was just thinking about that. But I'm I'm stuck for this game. Um, yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind like. Like I said, they, they kind of went off, but the periodic, the, the, the uh, periodic, periodic ta table of elements. I had a stressful few days because of this fucking channel. But um, <laughs> like we don't know how, like how, how, what them are for, and like how we're gonna trade them, and right, and. Do stuff and like what we need money for. Well, I, I guess we technically need, like to buy upgrades for our ships and stuff. But I wouldn't like like we could technically. It might not be at first, but this game is just going to evolve. Like uh, Juan was saying, it's just going to evolve, and may, maybe technically we can like, okay, I want to establish as my home planet, save enough money to build like a space station. You're in space station. Can you? Yeah. I don't know. No, I. I, that's, I, what I have, that's what they haven't talked about, and that's what I'm worried about. You keep saying it's like Minecraft. The whole point of Minecraft is craft, and they haven't yes. said anything about that. No, no, I say it has Minecraft's DNA in it, about with like the exploration, exploration, and yeah, yeah, like digging up these blocks, fi fi finding what the blocks drop, and and doing right, whatever, and combining them and seeing what it. Yeah, yeah. but like I could see them updating it to where like okay, 
here's Space Station Bob, where people can come in, and like if I if if I have enough resources and stuff, I can have, have my own little shop. They can come in, and like I, I can make that space station the way I want to. You know what I mean? Just line to the solar system to get giant penis, and it's just Space Station Bob. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, that's right. I'm gonna fly, fly my space space station into the back of Bob's penis. <laughs> you would, you would, yeah. <laughs> um, so, amongst all of our uh, all of our excitement for this game, which we have, um, I'm gonna play a little devil's advocate because we're talking about the kind of the tech of the game at the moment. Mm-hmm. How confident are we with an eight man team constructing a game of this magnitude? I mean, you're seeing how long it's taking. Yeah, like, and the thing is, the computer's doing all the work, really. Yeah, they're they're just kind of refining it. I think. I mean, they've had it was what first showcased in 2013. Mm-hmm. So I mean, they had three years, so that's long enough for an eight-man team. And they they released the window of June, all right. And a lot Sony, of people, uh, Sony's released window. Do we think we'll get pushed back? No, I, no, I think, I think Sony's, Sony's backing back. back. Yeah, but the reason why they're pushing it back because because you figure okay, like a lot of people are thinking like okay, Paris Games Week they're, they're gonna get the date. And and it's still what like what is that like four eight or five months. Yeah. eight months or whatever. Um, that that's a long that's a long ways. I know I know it's it's coming, but they have to be. The, the reason why it's that far away is because they're waiting for it to be ready for VR. That's gonna launch right beside. Okay. PlayStation VR. Um, that's why it's there. Or or I think I think would. Would have been out this year. It wasn't for that inclusion. I really do. So I, like 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 you were saying, they had they've had enough time. Yeah. And maybe this was too big of a project, too um, uh, grand a scale for for a little team. But oh, I'm, they, saying, I'm, not, I'm saying it, it. I'm not saying it is too much. Just. Are we? I'm, I'm assuming, and I think uh, there probably won't be a beta because I think this type of game you don't want to do that kind of stuff. You don't want. He said he can't make a beta. Okay. Yeah, that's I think that's where Marty got that from. Um, I'm assuming that this game's gonna gotta have some, has some hiccups. Oh, it is. And if the game has, has some hiccups, if this game, if this, sure, if this game, but the game with this magnitude and this much um hype around it, if this game comes out, a shitload of people buy it. It has hiccups involving connection or whatever. How big of an impact would that have? You know, would the community just be up in arms to go burn down? You know, Hello Games. No, whatever. They, they, they made their money. With the, with no, the they made their money. It's, it's gonna go right back into that game. But JC has a point, though. JC has a point in that. I mean, people bitch about everything nowadays. Literally everything. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it's but just I mean, like, like I think they're like gonna get Fallout. ripped apart. They're gonna get ripped to pieces if that actually happens. Yeah, but think about like Fallout Three. I mean, think about how many bugs that game had in it. I mean, I mean, it's huge. People still bought that fucking game. I know. And fast forward to Fallout Four, and everybody's saying, "Oh, the graphics are shitty. They're PS3 graphics and stuff. It was burning fucking Todd Howard to the ground." Or whatever. Yeah, they're still. Yeah, 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 but that, that, that's that, that's just a. That's I think it's just a vocal minority. But, I, but that's who everybody hears, though. Like the vocal yeah, but, minority. Yeah, yeah, but who cares? Who, like, like, look at people bitching about Destiny. Yeah, it was sh- it was kind of shitty when it first came out. But look at it now. That like they updated it with mm-hmm. what was it, Take a King. Yeah. Now everybody's like, this is the Destiny oh, I wanted. The Destiny fucking raping you though. You know, a year and a half later after the game came out, now they released this add-on which is forty dollars more after you paid sixty and then and paid. For other other DLC, now this you can you know paying 110, 150 dollars for the fucking game just to get the games you wanted. Mm-hmm. I understand that, but they released the game they wanted. You know what I mean? They they, they when they released it, okay, we we got the we, we got this we got this ten year plan <laughs> for DLC, and people people yeah. play the shit out of it. Like like Destiny's fucking huge. It's fucking huge, like. And so, so they, so they added an update and made the game better than what it was. You know, I stopped playing because I thought I, mean, I thought I was I was trying. I, I was thought just... it was barren. You know, um, yeah. I, I stopped playing it, but like I, I, I ain't jumping back in because I ain't fucking. It's too much work. Yeah, hell yeah. 
<laughs> but but I I think with this like he like Let's like uh, back. so I'm right, hold on let them talking. Give me a second. <laughs> but um, Sean Murray says no, you can't you can't create a beta. But I think this is kind of a beta because this thing's going to evolve. They're going to keep adding more and more shit, and it's gonna it's probably gonna have bugs. But the promise of the game and what it what it can deliver, I think it's going that's going to keep people around. It might not be perfect right out the gate, but no game's perfect. Like, yeah, you know, there's always fucking there's always yeah, fucking patches. There's always patches and shit. Oh well, I agree with all that, Bob. I mean, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm just playing devil's advocate. The kind well, of well, I'm playing devil's advocate. Maybe some, some, devil's some, spur, advocate. Spur some good talk. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Brian, tell me about House Mark and Matterfall, man. Okay, I'm done. Real quick though, I'm done. I, I just want to say, Bob and Juan and whoever, if y'all have not checked out Boundless, and I'm not going to talk about it here, but if I you, know, well, no, you can talk about it all you want. So I'll talk about it. Boundless, I, um, that is the new Minecraft. Mm. I haven't seen gameplay. Yeah, you haven't seen gameplay, that's but yeah, that's everything, really, if you, go, really if you go to their website, go to their website, they have tons of videos, they have tons of stuff about what it does. You talk about, it looks like Minecraft on steroids, but like I said, maybe that's for a different time. We'll let everybody go and research it and we'll come back and talk about it. Well, like, yeah, we talk about it right now. Oh, yeah, they, they, they did a trailer for that. Yeah. Yeah, that's where you go through like did. those portals and stuff. Yeah, yeah, but if you right, right, go right. to their webpage, and they, they were saying something about like like every portal takes you someplace new that's randomly generated, and yeah, you but, like, and you can be like, hey, this is my home world, and then like once you like put your flag down or whatever, then you can customize that world to whatever you want, however you want, yeah. right? And then like if you want to set yourself up as like a, a trader, you can go to different portals, you can capture animals, you can bring them back, and you yeah, can make a make a space too. Yeah, and then <laughs> charge people, and then charge other players, like Turn, game like players to come yeah. visit your zoo. Uh huh. I mean, and, you, and then, but I was looking. Yeah, if you if you go to the website, man, it looks. I did. I don't. Know, it, yeah, I mean, it just looks like Minecraft on steroids. It looks like it's right up your alley. I know. You know, I'm excited about this, and I, I think this might be um, Sony's potential um, answer to maybe. If Xbox, Xbox ever, yeah, Xbox ever say Minecraft too? Yeah, only on Xbox, yeah, because this is this is only gonna be on uh, PlayStation, play, PlayStation and PC, but they communicate, so like so so we can kind of like Rocket League, you know, you, we we can play right. with PC piece people, you can do it in that game. PlayStation Four people can play with the PC people, right. um, but no, I, I am excited, yeah. If they do it right. Excuse me, I'm burping. Um, sorry about that. But uh, yeah, I think this game could be really cool. Like, yeah. And I, I think this is just what Sony needed to, do with uh, especially with Microsoft buying, millioning up. Um, but then, then that gets the whole thing. I, I think Microsoft would release Minecraft too and everything. It's just too much money. I mean, yeah. they spent they spent how much money on it? I think they got to make it back. Yeah. Yeah, they will. But. So, House Market Matterfall. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> House Market Matterfall. <laughs> that. Well, the the first game by House Market that's coming out this year, Alien Nation. It's the spiritual successor to uh, Dead Nation. Mm -hmm. So top down. It was awesome. Shoot 'em up aliens. Oh yeah, I love Dead Nation. I can't wait for that one. That's coming out this year. Um, the one they showcased, Matterfall, um, and to me looked just like Rezogun. Uh, yeah, yeah, right yeah. Okay, so. Um, I, actually, I, I actually think it's pronounced Rezogun. <laughs> Is it, if, if that's okay, I'm going to drive it to your house and kick your ass. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it looks like a, a Rezogun on the ground. And I don't know, I'm just really, really excited about it. I mean, the, the stuff yeah. that they showed, kind of the back and forth, and I said this during the um, My Impressions video, the charging through, except it, instead of a ship, you're a person. So, I don't but, know. It just see, looks like uh, updated Resogun. See, yeah. see yeah. I, don't, I, I don't know, man. Like, the there was no gameplay shown. None. It was just a little trailer, we, so we don't know. Gotta, it's what you got to take from the, the live mm -hmm. action-esque trailer. I think, I, think, I, think, I think it's going to be side-scrolling. Uh, 
Reza gun was on a cylinder that you that you spun around. Yeah. This is gonna be, this is gonna be like a, like old school Ninja Gaiden type stuff or like. Yeah, they said uh, it'd be side scroller. Bionic Commando, or whatever the hell that game was. Uh, so that's like completely different from. No, it's I, not. I don't agree with what the, that. It reminds you of Reza gun because I don't see Reza gun at all in there. Really? No, I don't. Oh, we'll go back and watch that video. I watched it. You said you said earlier you hadn't watched these videos. I said I didn't watch a conference. <laughs> oh, okay. I got Steve. caught, Bob. No, I said I didn't watch the conference, but I did check out some videos. Okay. Like, some okay. I, I did watch some of the trailers. I didn't watch what people was talking about and shit. Okay. But well, I, I did see it. You know, he kind of is going around, and they, they said it was going to be a side-scroller, so we already knew that. I'm excited about that. I'm excited that it's going to be a side-scroller. Um, not that um, Superstar Dust on the, on the sphere and, and Resogun on the um, cylinder. Mm -hmm. Wasn't awesome because they are their beast games, um, but I'm excited for the fact that it's going to be a side scroller. Um, Stardust and Relagun are just out of this world, and I really like Dead Nation. A lot of people give it shit, but I like. No, that. I did too. I really did. House Marker, they're masters at what they do. Oh, okay, every, shooting, yeah, man. Every, every, everything they do is fucking excellent. And I think now, they said Alien Nation. It would be um, drop in, drop out. I can't remember if Dead Nation was or not. Do you remember no, one? I think it was. I don't okay. Know it was. was it even online though? Yeah, it was online. Was it? That nation was. At least on PS4 it was. Yeah. But this one, Alienation, you'll have drop in and drop out with uh, your friends and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Oh, no, no. Like I said, anything Housemark says, I'm down. I'm buying yeah, that yeah, game. Same, same. I'm buying it. They've, they're, they've earned my trust. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nothing Definitely. they've ever put out is bad. Like I, th I think I think I think Outland is probably the worst game that I played. Um, but it's still it's still fun. But everything else is freaking excellent. Like I said, they're, they're masters at their craft. Masters at it. Now I, now I wonder if this is uh, like um, they're in a kind of funny's. Uh, was G was that GDC? Is that, is that the one where they did like the they streamed every day for like yeah GDC. Uh, yeah. they had they had Mount, they had House Mark on there. And um I was I was in the chat and I asked a question it was something along the line, lines of uh what classic arcade game would you want to get your hands on put your own spin on and re in re reinvent. And I can't remember they said they're working with this guy who's like old school arcade um, the like, guy who made Space Invaders, isn't it? Maybe he's OG. He's OG. No, I wonder if this is that game, because because they would say they were saying they're kind of putting two of the games he made and smashed them together to make something else. Um, mm, I but I wonder, I wonder if this is supposed to be know. it, or or maybe that's their next game down the pipeline. I would, I would I would believe that probably be down the pipeline. I don't think I don't think this game is it. Um, sure. But yeah, I mean I agree with you. House Mark is one of those um, developers that they know what they do best, and that mm -hmm. they they do it really well. You know whatever they whatever they uh, any kind of arcade game they're making. You know it, most more or less they're all in the, of the same ilk. But they're really good at like if I saw yeah. them trying to branch they're, into they're, something else, I would be would be worried about it. Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're they're high score chasers. Yeah. Defender. He made Defender. Yeah. What's his name? Eugene Jarvis. Yeah. He's 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 like an OG man. Um. Did didn't he make that? Did he make a racing game? Too that they got um. The, oh, I can't remember. It's a Ferrari. I want to say he he did that too. Probably wrong. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, like. Uh, I asked a question on there, and, and I think Colin read it. Robotron also, and um, he went through. Yeah, we're working with the, we're working with that Eugene guy, and we're we're like kind of mixed in, smushing two of his games together. Cruising USA. Was, no, it wasn't Cruising USA. It was before that, Outrun or something. It was a Ferrari, and you, like when you flipped over, you the chick was like sitting on the ground, your car was on fire. Pole position? No, he didn't make that. How's it doing? Whatever. Eugene, what? I'm sorry. Mark. This is 
I, I'm, I'm looking at a list of all the games he made, and yeah, the, the first car game he made was Cruising USA on 64. Or, I guess it wasn't 64, I guess it was the arcade system. Mm-hmm. Uh, it wasn't the game I was thinking of, but I whatever. I remember the game. Um, Brian, what'd you, what else did you have in there? You had, uh, or did Boundless, uh, you had... Uh, Robinson. I talked about that, the VR thing. That looked pretty fun. R-tab. That looked awesome. When you looked up at those giant dinosaurs, that was amazing. Yeah, so you're like a Wheatley who's crashed landed on a foreign world, and I guess you have that little AI to help you out, but it's a Wheatley. So there. Um, I think it's a good way to segue into Bob and his VR talk. Yeah. And Bob, I think, is the biggest you know VR guy in here. Um, me and Brian have our reservations. I'm not sure Juan's stance on it. Um, uh, I'm cautiously optimistic. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but Bob, please, you start in, and then we'll all debate you. All right. <laughs> um, masterly? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Master, master debater? Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah. Like, who, knows what's, who knows what's going on with Robinson and all that? Uh, I'm not really, like, in my little video I did, I didn't really talk about the stuff they announced there. I was just talking about VR in general. But, uh, she did see the video. Right. What's that? You did see the video of it, though, right? Well, yeah, yeah. I watched it. Okay. I watched that, and I watched um, uh, Super Masses until the on uh, Rush of Blood thing. Um, I think yeah, that, I, I, what's that's that? a fucking mistake. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I think I think it's a mistake. I think they shouldn't have made it. And I want to shoot. Get the fuck out of here, that bullshit, man. How how you, how is that immerse anybody using VR or any or any other tech otherwise? I think that's ridiculous. Not that, and the fact that they're tacking on uh, until Dawn's name on. I mean, come on now. Supermass is wanting to do this. You know, they they want to do they want they want to do this thing, and um, <clears throat> I, should their, probably, I, I should I should man. probably say like I'm not gonna try to spoil spoil, but maybe some spoilers for Until Dawn. I think through this game. They're gonna they're gonna show you the the, the scent of madness of one of their characters, um, mm-hmm. and and I believe I read I think IGN did a little article. They had one dude play it, and he's like, uh, I'm kind of paraphrasing here, but he said, "Until Dawn, Russia Blood does to the to the on rail shooters what um, Until Dawn did to the horror genre and games, like." All like the misconception and and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Do, do I wish it was like a first person un- until dawn? Yeah, yeah, I do. But until dawn, you have to know who you're playing as. And it's the whole thing. Like you, you're switching between a million characters. You get to see that person. And but I have faith just because with like I haven't heard of Super Massive until they did until dawn. But that game is immaculate, and if they chose to do this, I believe in like they're gonna do their own thing, and uh, like I think I think it'll be good. I think it'll be it ain't gonna be that. It probably won't be the until dawn experience, like until dawn. But they even said they're gonna have like branching store. Like they're gonna what what the hell the guy say? He said it wouldn't be until dawn. Didn't have like the branching storyline and the choices and and stuff. And the um, audio card read like that they, they were saying like, "Are you be like even though you knew a scare was coming, it, it still got you because it wasn't coming where you thought it was going to come from or something." Like you'd have to read the article. Um, but I have faith in it. Uh, but. I had no idea what was going on with, uh, moving on to uh, Robinson the Journey. I have no idea what's going on, but fuck yeah, dinosaurs. Yeah, and look, I'm, virtual I would reality. To, I would have to see more. I mean, it was obviously a pretty game made by Crytek. You know, Crytek is what they do. And they make some pretty games. They make pretty games. Very pretty games. Um, CryEngine loves that, that, that engine is very powerful. Um, I'm surprised you guys haven't but, mentioned the biggest draw, and that's a. Uh, I mean, I know you guys probably no. Well. That, but I know you guys probably aren't like big car games, but Gran Turismo. No, see, like, like I didn't, I don't want to talk too much because I didn't really talk about Gran Turismo. But 
like when the video, I didn't go too much into the specific games. I just went into like why I think VR is going to be something. Well, like, I mean, like, like, like that's huge. Yeah. Like, like, yeah, it was PS3's best-selling game was Gran Turismo Five. I had it. Yeah, I yeah. love that game. Exactly. So I mean, that's huge for the best-selling game on a platform to announce that they're supporting VR. That's humongous for now, it. No, no. Like, would it would it have uh, been a bigger punch if there was like Gran Turismo Sport? It's coming before seven or whatever the hell that is, and you can only play it on VR. Yeah, but it because people are gonna buy that the headset just for that. I guarantee it. I guarantee you they get yeah. Like even now, even though it's not exclusive, I guarantee you people are gonna buy VR just for the Gran Turismo. People buy huge steering wheel rigs so they can feel like they're in an actual car when they're dry, when they're playing a fifty dollar game. The yeah, the rigs cost like a thousand bucks and they buy them. Why won't yeah, they buy them? The seats and the pedals and the wheel and everything. Yeah. Yeah. It, it like, it, it, like it, moves, it, it, it vibrates and stuff when you move. It, it, it's like yeah. Tight. And then there's then there's like I see these rigs with the uh, TV in front and they got two TVs on the side for like like so so you get that kind of mm -hmm. like like the peripheral yeah, that, vision that, type thing. You know, and 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 I was gonna say Morpheus, but P PlayStation VR what can uh, supplant that? It can replace that. Tell you better. Like you gotta watch that video. That that whenever it's put up. But yeah, like I said, just the sensation of like whenever you you look around and you're actually looking around. And yeah, the, the developers gotta deliver. But it it's it's gonna be. It's gonna be big, man. And like, even like, I didn't, I didn't even know this. Me and uh, Juan was talking about this um, not too long ago. Uh, Ark, uh, Survival Evolved, that other dinosaur game that's coming to PlayStation VR. Mm-hmm. And yeah, fucking, they have me running around the jungle with fucking dinosaurs. Dude. But that's also because it's going to Oculus as well. So. Well, yeah, well, yeah, you got you got Eve Valkyrie. It's like fucking. Mm -hmm. uh, dog fights in space, like, come on, come on! It's like, like it's it like, like I, guess, I, mean, I don't think I said this, and I think I wanted to add it, but in in that video, I was talking about people think it's gonna be the next move. Like, you're still gonna be able to use your thumbsticks, like your controller, to play. It, it, this it, this is the closest. This is the first step of putting us in the game, like actually putting us in the game and they don't want EA Sports has been trying to do for years yeah <laughs> yeah but no I, I'm I'm fucking I'm ready man I'm ready Bob well that's all can I, can I argue, argue no, the you, point that you just, no, you you just can't. brought up no if, no you can't no I'm going to anyway no I want that go ahead. Um, so you mentioned just now and you mentioned it also in your in your, your, um, your commentary you did for it about the fact that um, the game is a good uh, VR is a good use for games that use the first person perspective, yeah. which I think is the obvious route anybody should go. And no one's going to make a third person you know game with VR. I mean, I think it's ridiculous. I either. hope not. Um, they could that's beside, Yeah, it's beside the point. Well, Tekken, Tekken. Now that you say it, Tekken. Yeah, but that that's like because I was thinking about until dawn for this. You you like you you can make like a hybrid almost. You know, like well, like like say you start up a chapter of Until Dawn, you're playing as a character. Then you see that character, you know who you're playing as. And then it just swoops in, you know. So you can still you can still technically do the, the uh, third person, but it would have to yeah you it would have to be first person uh, perspective to do this stuff. But you can do a whole bunch of stuff that you you can like do like a minority report type thing where like you're like. Do like it's gonna be a, it's gonna be something. I'm telling you. Like I said, this um, this this is the first step of. My goodness. <laughs> Go ahead. Awkward silence. Go ahead, man. <laughs> Getting back to what I was trying to say. Uh -huh. So you said the first. Oh, I, 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 I got one more thing to add. I got one. Right fit for the. Oh God! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, 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 go, go, go. No, no, fucking around. No, no. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, you are. Um, so 
my thing with you said, you know, if you look left, you know, obviously the screen moves left, look right. You know, I think I think that's really awesome. I think that's going to be really cool. And I think um, using a game like um, Grand Turismo is a good fit for that because you're not looking left and right very fast. There, it's subtle changes here and there as you're looking to mm-hmm. the left or right. You have to look in the mirrors here and there, you know, seeing what, what the, the terrain and how the roads want to go and whatnot. Um, but my thing is, you know, a game that they seem to be kind of um, touting a lot is Rigs, which is a, a first-person shooter. Mm-hmm. And you, you can see in the video they showed at the conference, you know, the guy looked left or right or whatever, and the screen moved left or right. Um, the first thing I, I said to myself when I saw it, I was like, well, how do I turn all the way around? How do, how do I look behind me? Um, and so my thing is, like, until they figure out how, <laughs> until they figure out how to make this work to a point where you can use it in games that are, are fast-paced, you're going to have to be holding a control in your hand. And, well, you still, I mean, yeah. even though... It, it, yeah, but, but the thing, the thing it is, you know, if I have VR on, hanging on my fucking face, you know, I'm, I'm in the game, and, I, and it's making me feel like I'm in the game, and you know, if I look left, and it, I look left, and you know, once I start going, and I'm, I'm moving like, you know, 100 miles an hour... I want it to be able to go at that speed. I don't want, you know, it's I, I, for me. I think that it works on like, you know, sm- uh, games that are, are you're just making subtle turns here you and can, there. You not can look you, you know, And Riggs, you can look completely behind you. There's, there's yeah, little, there's, there's little stick to move, move the car around. No, no, because like that in Riggs, that's how you, that's how you turn. You look. You don't. You ain't yeah. using you ain't using the six of ten. So if you want to look behind you or or, or do a one eighty, you turn around. But what yeah, if you want to walk in that direction? Because it it goes in the direction that you're looking. So so if, if if I'm I'm looking straight ahead, so I'm going straight. So if I if I want to go to the left, I look to the left. If I want to start going backwards, then I guess you turn around, and look backwards. But I mean, there, there, there's there's lights on the back of the headset. For the camera to see, right? To recognize that, hey, you are you are turned around. I mean, and I'm going off, you know, obviously just like same as you knew. I haven't had any hands-on time with the tech, so you know, I'm I'm just speaking on what I what I've noticed, what what I'm taking from it. Um, but also, you know, I think I think we might have talked about it um last episode, maybe when Unreal said they're they're going, you know, they're putting a lot of emphasis on VR. Um, but epic. But the guy at Unreal said himself that he you can't do Unreal tournament on there because the game moves too fucking fast. Well, that that just be nausea though. Yeah, well, well yeah, you, you got to. Yeah, well, it depends on how. Like, VR would be all about yeah. playing first man first man shooters. For me, yeah, it'd be but, all about playing first man shooters. Uh-huh. Well, yeah. To to add on to JC's point though, I feel like Riggs is going to be the test for first person shooters. If Riggs bombs or Riggs doesn't ha- like handle well mechanically. First-person shooters are done on VR, at least on, on on Morpheus. I feel like that's the game that's going to set the metric. Yeah, as far as first-person shooters go, I think so. Because, like, it's going to have everything you need. It's going to have, like, you know, full 360-degree movement. And if they don't nail that, then, th- I mean, that's it for first-person shooters. You know, I, I don't, I don't no. think so at all. It, it, it's, it's when, like, Bungie or Activision doesn't nail it. I don't know. Then, then that, that would be the end of the first. You know why I agree with Juan on that statement? Do, y'all, do you guys remember the game Layer? Yeah. <laughs> yes. The Dragon yes. Game. Mm-hmm. Yes. And it was all on your motion controls. Yeah. That whole game used your motion controls, and that game bombed, and motion controls went there. away on the PS3. Hey, obviously you never played Super Rubber Dub. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I played unfortunately. I did too, and I liked it. I had fun. No, I mean, I was, bought like. I mean, but but what I'm saying is that game bombed, and the PS3, like motion control, whole entire thing, went away. No, see, that that was just. With, they, with the, I mean, even the with, 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 still, with, still not doing motion control. With, yeah, yeah, because it's you're using like a little thing that fits in your hands to do motion controls. Oh, that's like, the whole. That's what he's saying. Though Juan's not making the point for the whole system. He's what he's saying is that if that game bombs as a first-person shooter, motion controls didn't shooter, bomb because motion bomb. controls didn't bomb because it, of Lair. It's because it's like it wasn't. You didn't have. I think everybody else was scared to come out with a game for it. 
because no, of it. No, I don't, I, I don't agree with that at all. I mean, I, I'm like, like what Brian is saying, man. Like, this is the as far as we know, this is the only first-person shooter being developed for yeah. uh, for VR. So even if even if commercially it doesn't matter if it bombs, mechanically it matters on everything. Because like what Bob, like what Brian is saying, if they screw up, then everybody's going to be scared to do it. They're going to be like, well, I mean, I shit, so. you know, this is this game is being made a dedicated. That, for VR, and it's yeah. and and if they can't get it right, it's like that, they were ground up with it. And if yeah, they but that, some mechanics on it, right? Then who who can? Uh, what other games have uh, really Cambridge made? Like I don't even know. Like this is just one company, Mercenary, like, and it's a sub, it's a subsidiary they, of they a made bigger company. A little Mercenary, which was great. You like once you get like the top dogs working on something, and it don't go, then then that's the time to. Then that's what it's gonna fail. But in my video, what I'm saying is, that, like, it might, like, this stuff might not be a thing right now, but it will be. It might, it might right now, yeah, might not fails. be, right, right, right now, might not be the time. But they're, but they're trying. And eventually, yeah, but the point is, eventually, they, that's what they, you're gonna be. Releasing, they want to be a thing now. You know what I'm saying? They want to be a thing now. They, they don't want to release it now and say, okay, this game. Time. Just give it five years. No, this is on the market now. It has to be a thing now, or they're gonna start losing fucking money. Yeah, dude. A lot no, of it. Sony's already losing money. Well, they're losing no more. Such thing as <laughs> five years. There's no such thing as sitting on the shelf for five years. Yeah, no, but this is gotta, gotta, yeah, gotta be go now. It's gonna need a hell of a second win to be profitable, profitable afterwards. Well, you, you, you guys ain't looking at the big picture, I don't think. I am, but, but I think it's only gonna be for gaming. No, it won't. The, 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 bigger picture, the bigger picture is not just gaming. Yes, it is, because I think Magic Leap is going... I think that's going to take over the market everywhere else. The fuck is... What? Oh, you haven't even heard of it? No, I don't know you're talking about. It's, it's the next um, extension to Google Glass. Everything is 3D, but you're just wearing a pair of glasses. You don't have some giant, nasty headset on your head. You can actually... So, uh, so, so HoloLens. Augmented reality, maybe. Augmented. Yes, they are. Yeah, 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 but this, all, all this stuff, like, like I said in the video, we're, this is this is just a ground level. I think like, it's gonna get hung on gaming. That's it. No, no, it ain't, you're, you, that's there's so many more possibilities. To this. To I, I agree, but I think I think that this other I think that other technology is gonna surpass it. I think augmented like reality. Like what? Augmented okay. reality. I think the augmented reality is gonna be. In the business world and the other outside world from gaming, I think that's going to be much, much bigger. I mean, they, they, the only time will tell, man. But this is, and you know, it, argument, argument, reality is also part of this whole thing. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe like uh, they're, they're, they're 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 trying they're trying to do this. Like, um, if you look at a bunch of things throughout history, a bunch of things. Was uh like virtual reality was just probably something in some book or somebody something was talking about, and it's about people making this thing actual reality. The headset, and um like we like we've seen this stuff in science fiction movies, books, all this stuff, and it's just maybe the tech ain't there right, maybe the tech ain't here right now, but it it will be. And then why release it next year? It's just the first step. You got to start somewhere, don't you? That's true. Hey, do you guys remember the um, U Force for Nintendo? No. You didn't have that. I don't. Probably not. I it was, was motion. It was motion control. It was what Nintendo's was it? motion control back in like 1985. Oh, then no, I don't. I don't remember that. I had it. It was a giant like satellite thing. It folded up. You could move your hand and make Mario move around and whatever. Okay, that was motion control. 1985. How long did it take before it came out again? The Wii. 2000. Okay, uh, there you go. So 20, 20 years. So that's how I see this, this VR. They're, they're doing it too early. There's, no, well, there's nothing... See, but, I don't but, think it's but, that but, drastic. Like, what I was saying about rigs is not... It's, it's, the entirety of VR doesn't rely on rigs. The entirety of first-person yeah. shooters on VR... I know, see, on see, see, my argument to that would be that that that's, in, until you see like the... The big dogs in the first-person shooter realm. But why would the big dogs even attempt it if Riggs fails? Because they don't give a shit about Riggs. Oh, yeah. They're, 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 they're not going to get their toe in this game until they, they see if uh, another company yeah, can dude. do it. 
Exactly. Yeah, Every single one of them is watching rigs right now. I, 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 no, guarantee I, guarantee, I guarantee you that they're, they're already working on shit. I doubt it. Not first-person shooters. I doubt it. I think... Every single person you, is. You don't, you don't think uh, like like TriTech or Tri? What the hell's that fucking company's name? TriTech. Like, yeah. TriTech. No, uh, the ones that make the uh, making Black Ops Three. Treyarch. Treyarch. Yeah. Hell no. Treyarch. You don't. You don't think. You don't think they're fucking around with yeah. this at all. <laughs> Activist, Activision knows better. <laughs> I mean, they're not. No. <laughs> yeah, dude. They, they want a sure thing. They don't want no damn experiment. I mean, they're, they're, they're letting they, a little company they, fail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think it is. The, uh, VR has a, a very layered, um, like, expectation to its success. Or, you know, I think there's, there's going to be certain people that want certain things from it. You know, like me, I would want, uh, like, an awesome first-person shooter experience. That's what I want from it. But that's just me. Some other folks just want to be sucked into a world and they can they can walk around and just feel like they're there. Mm-hmm. Other folks want to drive Gran Turismo, you know, and just feel like they're driving a car. You know, so there's going to be, be plenty of opportunities to sell the thing to the hardcore players. We're just saying that that this genre of game really is going to be a hard one to nail. And for the the folks that really want to you know play that type of game, you know, it's it's going to be tough. I mean, it it might be. Like, we don't know what, what people are doing. Like, we don't know. That's why I'm saying. Like, this is the one that we got to look out for. I don't. I don't think. I. I don't think. If, I don't think. If I definitely do not think if Riggs doesn't do nothing, because it's not a first person shooter. First of all, you, you, you're mm-hmm. trying. You, you're trying to score, jump into a goal. Like, I don't know what the hell is going on. Controls. It, 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 it's first controls. First person view. When you're shooting. It's a first yeah, yeah. person shooter. Yeah. Like. I don't know how else to explain it. Fucking Gorilla Cambridge is not going to be the late for death of the first person shooter on VR. It's not, about who's, not about who's making it. I mean, it's about the game in general and how it runs with the VR. I know, but but who's to say somebody can't do it better? I mean, maybe they can, but... I they ain't going to look at this fucking game and be like, oh, they didn't do it, we can't either. If the, well, com- if, the com- if the company wants to make a fucking first-person shooter on VR, then that's what they're gonna do. You know, just cause fucking uh, the uh, controls, the control scheme that Riggs implemented didn't work for that right good enough. Doesn't mean that they have to use that control scheme. You know, like. All right. I'm not done. You're done. <laughs> I think we've been there, horse. All right. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. That's fine. We're done. Because um, we're just going to go round and round on that issue. Yeah. yeah. Basically, what it is, we're all going to sit around and wait for it until we see it um, um, with either excitement or cautious excitement. Mm-hmm. We'll just see how it turns out. You know, this is, way, this is what it is. Um, so, I don't think, was there anything else? That really was of note. I, I mean, Media Molecule came out with their for their game Dreams, which yeah, what the fuck was that, man? That was crazy. <laughs> like, I really don't want to. It's a, it's an obtuse, know. abstract little big planet. They're they're did, giving did the you rock. Guys see where you can print, you can use a three D printer and print anything. I've read made. that. I've read that, which is. Funny. I mean, that's cool, yeah. but I'm, I'm not gonna go out and spend twelve hundred bucks on a three D printer. <laughs> you can get them, you can get them cheaper. I'm not gonna go and spend money on a 3D printer. Sure the, point. the actual point there, Bob, is you can get them cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> um. Well, it depends on what what you're doing it for, man. Like, like I don't know, like this get like. I mean, I can see applications saw- outside of gaming for dreams. Okay, that's it. That's exactly what I told JC the other day. I saw this as a job interview tool. Instead of them going on Facebook, um, oh, your developer, huh? I I I they got they got. I would never have thought of that. It's yeah, weird. man, an, an aspiring yeah. developer makes something badass on dreams. As, and, then, as and, then you say, and then they go in for an interview, and he says, let me see your um, dream world. Let me see your dream character. I mean, they, they already do that with jobs on Facebook. Let me see your Facebook. Let me see, you know, your YouTube, whatever. Why not? So, yeah, like, I, I, I see dreams as them trying to take Little Big Plant to, to the next level, and I don't even know if it needs to... I mean that's what it is, but that is the next it's level. Because it, it, it's development. That that should no, that's just gonna be for the artist. Yeah. You know? 
Uh, I can I can agree agree with that. It's just not my thing. I guess. Um, yeah, like, we can. I think we can all agree on that. Yeah. I just wish they'd make more Little Big Planet. I yeah. agree with that also. Make I love better them. Little Big Planet because Little Big Planet three just came out. Yeah, but, you know, I want to get it so bad. Yeah, I want. I want to. I want to. I want to start getting people like in our little community, maybe fucking jumping in and like creating something. Because I had this in the little big planet. If, if I'm allowed to take a bit of a walk here, yeah, um, you can make it a short walk. <laughs> Gonna be a brisk stroll. Well, I I, I wanted to make this level, and I did so. That's, no, there you go. That, that's a, <laughs> that, that was a short <laughs> talk. No, no, but, okay, but no, I had this idea. But just going to be real quick. Where, like, you start, you start with a sack boy. Sack boy's basically, like, real, real tiny. And, like, gotcha. yep. you, 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 had, you, you had this person pop up. Like, hey, my PlayStation's broke. Little sack dude, can you jump in there and fix it for me? And, like, he jumped into the PlayStation and went down in. And it, you like ran into like Solid Snake Snack Boy, like Ratchet and Clank Snack Boy, all trying to do this little stuff, like like electricity going behind it and um trying to figure out what's wrong. And you start going through, and you meet all these other people from like PlayStation games and and stuff, and fix all these little problems. And then you pop out, and uh, PlayStation fixes. It. Dude's like, hey, but no, they go, I think I, I I like that little idea about Snack Boy going and trying to fix a PlayStation, and there's like all these other little PlayStation characters running around inside the PlayStation and in little worlds, and there's something bigger going on. Yeah. And I had I had like a giant Xbox logo that was fucking up my PlayStation, but I couldn't I couldn't publish it because it was stupid. It was nowhere near done. Yeah. I had ideas though. Yeah. Well, we'll see how dreams work out. No, I ain't like I, I, I like I, I love me Molly but I don't need to get in that game. I have I no agree, idea. I agree, I agree with that, sir. Um, Which is um, disappointing. So David, David Cage came out and from Quantic yeah. Dream and showed off their first trailer for their game. Excited, Detroit. <clears throat> it looked beautiful. But I'll then we were excited, but then we was also excited for Beyond Two Souls. Yeah, I mean, I hope it's not another. I mean, Beyond Two Souls wasn't horrible. It was good. Yeah, but you know, you, you would have to imagine. Really. You're, you're gonna have to imagine they learned from their lesson. They yeah. learned from what everybody was saying. And Heavy Rain was fucking great, and I like the idea that they're like flipping the the story because like uh, Detroit, it's about this android like. I guess becoming more self-aware than other androids, or maybe mm-hmm. she's like... It's iRobot, the game. <laughs> kinda. But, I, but, it, but it's from her perspective, so it's going to be more about... Not not about, like, the humans thinking the androids are bad. It's going to be, like, the android being like, dude, you guys need to step the fuck off, man. No, I think it, it is. How the the androids are bad. Like, you see, there's segregation. There's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but, 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 but we only really see that story from... The human's perspective, you know, except and we're gonna see it from her perspective, like her just being born and going out and like like in the trailer she's like feeling the rain and the wind, the sun, and then she goes and sees all these people beating up fucking robots. Like, whoa, what the hell is going on? I thought we was cool. I mean, we've seen this story before. It's called Wally. Not really. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> um, I'm just busting your balls. I, just, I, I need to see gameplay. Same. I'm saying, but I need uh, to see it's going to look just like a trailer. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's. I mean, that's what they do with their interactive movies. That, yeah, 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 yeah. Have you played Heavy Rain? Yeah, I played, I played Heavy Rain. Well, yeah, that's what the, that's what it's going to be, man. Yeah. So you, there's going to be no platforming. You're just going to make your choices and. Walk around, explore, discover. Put some events. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's gonna be, and I'm, I'm down, man. Yeah, I, I'm, I did. I'm a... I I didn't play Beyond Two Souls because I was like everybody was like they fucked up. But I mean, the the over again the overreaction is a, that is just that an overreaction. But it's it's definitely not heavy rain status. But it's I mean it's not bad. See, like the like the one is like if people don't know, we, we're all part of the kind of funny community. At least I'm pretty sure. Um, that's how we all got together and doing this stuff. And Greg Greg said like I didn't play Beyond Two Souls, but he's he, he was telling me something 
Um, spoilers for Beyond Two Souls, by the way. Not really, but I guess, I guess like, um, what's her name, Jody? Mm-hmm. She's, she's, like, 12 or something at a boys' girl party, dancing, and she tells somebody, this dude she's dancing with, oh, I got a guest following me, and he had no reaction to that. I'm like, well, that's fucking weird. Like, because I, I, I fucking, I chop, spoilers for heavy rain, I fucking chop my fingers off for, for fucking trying to find my kid and shit. Mm-hmm. And, like, for her, for her to say something and then have not, no reaction to it. But, like I said, I think, I think they, they're going to learn. I think this game is going to be on the level of heavy rain. Um, but, like, they, they yeah. learned from the, uh... They also wasted all their money on Willem Dafoe. They couldn't buy a good rider. Yeah, well, they got fucking Alan Page too. Exactly. Fucking until Dawn got head in pen in the air, the, the one dude from yeah. Marvel Agents of Shield and that Russian guy or whatever. It's an all kind of shit. He's a, he's a crazy astronaut in uh, um, Armageddon mm-hmm. on a space station. <laughs> oh man! But um, yeah, I'm excited for. Um, sure. quantum, quantum Dreams game, yeah. But uh, if they fuck it up again, then I'm, then the next one, I'm like, well, I don't know. Yeah, well, I, I don't that's what most developers in games, though. So you know, I, it, Heavy Rain was so good. I, I, I even though I haven't played Beyond Two Souls, I'm giving them a pass on it. That a boy, that's the spirit. Um, I think that was it for. This is all the major. News in the countdown. Can't really think of anything. I don't know if anything else you guys um, remember from it that you want to touch on. Just, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not really big on fighting games, but Tekken 7 and Street Fighter 5 had some news out there. Yeah, that's why I didn't bring it up because I'm not a big fighting game guy. So, you know. Right. I am either. And what was it, Tekken 7? They was like, oh, the. We are supportive. The blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, there's that. But I was talking about like the blah, blah, blah can clan, the secrets will be revealed. Like, I don't even know who the hell these people are. The Hihachi? Yeah, I don't know. Or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Is, it, is this game like a prequel? What the hell is going on? I think so. I'm 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 running through the conference in my head. I'm trying to see if there's anything we missed, but um, the game Wild. Wild, yes, that looks awesome. I I remember that a couple Snake years moves. ago. I remember that a couple years ago, and then I thought I kind of I kind of thought they canceled it. That is made by the guy who originally created uh, Rayman. Yes. He's a, he has a foreign name. I ain't gonna try to pronounce it. Yeah, it's it's the French guy. Yeah, from yeah, Microsoft. yeah. yeah. I have um, zero excitement for this game. Zero? Really? Zero. I, I mean, mean not, to, not even to, for the snake boobs. No, not bad. To, not to me, bad. to me, this is on like the level of like, like I don't like like it depends on what you, what you what you're doing in this world. Like, yeah, yeah, you can like take over hawks and shit and bunnies and you can ride a bear. I was sold on that. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, but I mean, have you guys seen the first not not the, not the trailer that they released for this, but the first trailer that they released like a couple years ago, or whatever? It was like last year, I think, or maybe this year. It might have been this year. No, no, this this game has been I've been about this for a while. And last year, then at probably TGS or something. I remember seeing it pretty uh, not too long ago. <laughs> but uh, the, the game, I don't know what the fuck's going on with this game. Um, That's what's so intriguing about it. I know it's like a, the, that's like what the, like I was saying with like Minecraft them and Scott to see to see what the hell is going like what we're actually doing. But like I, I'm I'm definitely intrigued. I mean I know what I'm doing. I'm not going to go see snake tits. Well, I mean, <laughs> you was also trying to fuck everybody until dawn, even the guys. So, but, um, but that, I mean that didn't work out for me. Spoilers, but you know whatever. Hashtag bone zone. Let me spoilers. It's gonna be hashtag bone zone in 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 snake world or whatever the hell it's called. <laughs> Snake wild, <laughs> but um, the, uh, yeah, I need I, I need to see I need to see Snake World. I need, I need to I need to see more, but I'm intrigued. I want to know more. It looks weird and unique, and that's what I love about games: all these different shit that people can create and the places they can put you in. So I mean, Ubi's been, I mean, with a few misses, like. Watchdogs and the Assassin's Creed. Is, is that actually still Ubisoft? There, I thought the dude kind of bounced. No, it's Ubisoft. Wild is Ubisoft. Mm. But anyway, uh, 
well, even though they got a few misses, I mean, I, I trust their pedigree. Mm. Yeah, mm. I get that. All right, I think that's it. We've we've yelled and debated and talked long enough to each other. In random yeah, I, yeah, I need to get the fuck out of here. People are uh, so pissing me off. All right, if anybody's still listening, this was Game Chair Conversations. Um, you can find us at Digi Escape Net on Twitter. Um, and Overflow. ENT. No, that's not your name over there, is it? It's Game on Juan. Game on Juan. Game on Juan at Twitter for Juan. Bob is Spidey Goes Thwip. I'm J Weeks 23. Oh. Um, please hit up the YouTube page, um, Digital Escapist Network. Um, we've got a handful of videos up there uh, with impressions from the stuff we talked about today. Um, we've got some spoiler casts that are on there. The Life is Strange full of spoiler casts is on there from Bob and Juan. Um, and Game on. So, a spoiler alarm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, um, also, um, there's no one coming, coming up this week. Um, I'm going to upload of the um, Until Dawn spoiler cast. So that's something to look forward to. And, uh, and also... Um, and your all, VR thing. Your VR thing's coming up. Yeah, well, yeah that's fine. Uh, also, um, all this week I'm going to be streaming for three hours a day. Um, uh, Resident Evil, Cinema, and uh, The Evil Within. Um, for try trying to get some more extra some more money for uh, extra life, um, and then Saturday I'm guessing I think that's extra life day. Uh, gonna be streaming Shadow of the Colossus uh, in one sitting. But um, whoever's listening, if you want to donate, go to extra org slash participant slash digital escapist. That's D I G I T A L. E S C A P I S T S. Dollar works. Whatever you want. Don't right. be jerks for the children. <laughs> All right, good shit. For the like kids. Yeah, well, thanks kids. for having me. I'm about to go watch some more Bob yeah. Ross. Yeah, this, 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 yeah, you're done. You're done after this. You're done after this. All right. Don't, don't expect. Don't expect to see him back. <laughs> well, until next time, this is J C, Bob, Brian, and Juan. Oh. See ya. Talk to you guys later. Out.